Well, hello there, lad here. Welcome to my studio. Today we're checking out the new XMG30, a versatile modular unit, which you can read right off the unit itself. How versatile it actually is, let's find out next. By the way, I have to mention that new X have been longtime friends of the channel. We've done, I don't know, 20, 30 videos with them already. And I get to keep the MG30. But as my long time viewers know, whether the video is sponsored or not, you're always getting my honest opinion because that's the only way that makes sense to do this stuff. Overall, the unit feels very solidly built. The chest is made out of metal. All of these knobs feel like they will last you a long time. The expression pedal as well. So that's really good. And it's kind of on par with the build quality I've gotten used to with the kind of higher end new X product. I also like the simple yet versatile control layout, signal block over here where you can obviously select different kind of blocks into your signal, makes sense. Then there's four buttons over here or controls over here which you can both rotate, but then you can also click that and they can cleverly use that within the UI. Then you can also go to things like global settings and do things here and this thing not only rotates, but it's also a joystick. So you can move it back and forth and then you can also click it so we can go to a display settings for example. And as an ex user interface designer, I think this thing is just well designed. They really put some time and effort into it to make it as versatile yet as easy to use as possible. And I think they did a pretty good job with that. And I know immediately some of you might say, hey, I can't do with just three foot switches. I need more. And to that, Nuke says that, hey, we're going to ship you with an external foot switch plus the cable to connect that foot switch. And it also comes with the power supply as well. A very beautiful display of stuff, but you get the idea. And also a cool little detail is the fact that this unit actually runs at 9 volts and the current draw, according to the manual, is around 400 milliamps or so. So you might actually be able to power the whole multi-effects unit by using your Chox DC7, for example. The I.O. on this unit is fairly extensive. There's input, then there's aux in for your MP3 player, for example, or any other audio source. Then there's headphones out, there's an effects loop, stereo output, and then there's the expression pedal control, again reminding you that it comes with an expression pedal and the stereo cable to connect that as well. And then you can also run a USB-C cable from the unit into your computer and that allows you, first of all, install updates. Then you can also upload your custom IRs. You can use it as an audio interface. And one of the highlights for me from this unit is the QuickTone app that is just really beautiful looking, fun to kind of use and comes with a bunch of actually usable presets made by your favorite YouTubers and artists. And yeah, just a lot of fun. We're going to check out those tones in just a second. I quickly want to demonstrate how the user interface on the unit itself works. Let's say we want to add a compressor to this particular preset over here. So we just click the compressor button and then we click the joystick. By default, the jumps to the app itself, but we want to navigate to the left. So we click the joystick a couple of times to the left. And now we're in the compressor block and we can choose between different compressors from here. And let's just tweak all of the four knobs. As you can see, what I rotate here is kind of reflected in the user interface as well. And it doesn't end here. You can actually reorder these. So for example, I hold up and then I can move my compressor block wherever I want it to be. It can be the first, it can be the last. And yeah, there you go. Pretty much everything you can do on the desktop editor, you can do on the model itself with a very nice looking user interface. So again, thumbs up from me for the user interface. I also quickly want to show you what's going on in the global settings because there's a bunch of cool things that you can do. For example, if you have a high output guitar or you have a very bass heavy guitar and anything like that, you can actually see that I trimmed my guitar settings for a live situation because my guitar, not that one, a different guitar, a semi hollow one, it has a lot of low end and it just overwhelms everything when I play with that. I probably need to do something about it, by the way. I actually used pre-EQ to make it better. And there's different output options here as well. And right now we're using Studio Direct because we're going stereo into my recording interface. There's expression pedal set up for this one that you might have to do once if it doesn't work right out of the box. You can tweak the USB routing settings. You can even 
tweak the brightness of the display and things like that. There's a parameter follow function, so the settings kind of follow you around, even like if I tweak something and then I just navigate from that screen, when I get back, the settings still stay. Then a very funny little thing is here that there's actually a snake game here as well. I'm gonna play that. So if you're bored or your drummer is taking too long to set up, this is what you can do. But now it's time to check out the Quick Tone app, and I think this is one of the highlights for me with this unit, because the user interface on this is just beautiful. Here's the rhythm guitar tone from the song that you heard at the beginning, and I'm using the Sterling JP150. Might as well hold the pick character well. Just for the sake of it, let's browse through these presets and I think I already mentioned, I'm actually very impressed with this. When setting up for live use, the MT30 actually offers you quite a lot of options despite its size, especially if you use the included foot switch as well. And let me show you what I mean by that. First of all, obviously there's presets, so you can create a bunch of different presets and use those. We're gonna start with my first preset for our set, and the song was Use Somebody, and you notice that there's this S1, S2, and 3, and you can see those on the display as well. Those are called scenes. So basically you can have three different scenes and scenes are basically triggering on different blocks in your signal chain on or off. That's what scenes do. You can have multiple pedals. You can basically just trigger those on or off. Then you can also use the external foot switches and kind of there's four of them and you can configure all of that here. So, so this is foot switch number four. I love that they have the graphic over here. So this is four the kind of foot switch of the expression pedal is also one and then there's two over here on this foot switch itself basically for example if you want to have the expression control controlling the level we can do that but let's go to let's say modulation and for modulation in my case i actually have the steel singer drive which is over there uh, maybe we can actually switch that for something else. We can move it around, obviously. Uh, yeah, let's say our modulation block actually could be like a tremolo, maybe. So we actually long press this and it's, yeah, it says here, hold for modulation effect. And now we can go to a tremolo, for example. 
And one thing about this particular foot switch is the fact that not only you can obviously control the... I think we chose that it controls the rate of the tremolo, yes. But if in this preset or this scene the tremolo is off, we can actually push the foot switch over here and we have the tremolo on. And we can turn it off. But if that pedal is already on in your scene, you cannot actually turn it off by hard pressing the volume control. Uh, maybe this is something that they tended to be, or maybe it's something that could be changed in the software update. I don't know. To me, it would make sense that you could always turn that particular pedal on or off because you would have more control. And then, obviously, we have three other foot switches that we can also configure. First of all, there's the switch number four. I love the fact that there's the graphic for this stuff here, so you always remember which one is which. If you don't want to use the scenes, you can actually do a lot of other stuff here as well. For example, I don't know, turn the EQ on or off or anything like that. So yeah, now foot switch number three actually engages and disengages the EQ. So as you can tell, you get a lot of versatility because you can both trigger on single elements or you can trigger a bunch of things within your presets on or off per song. I bet a lot of you people could do a whole gig with just one preset and then just triggering a few different elements here and there. Really practical and I like this approach. I feel you get a lot more out of this unit because of that. And speaking of that, like overall, I feel they've managed to pack a ridiculous amount of stuff into this unit, especially with the size. It's small, it's light, it's very sturdy, it sounds good, the preset sounds good, which is not always the case. The fact that they actually ship you an external foot switch a cable, I think it comes with a USB-C cable as well. The desktop editor is good, you can use it as an audio interface, there's even drum machine and looper stuff that I didn't touch because I don't really use either that much. Uh, it's a versatile modeler, as it says on the label. And I've been really impressed with it. I've been enjoying the sounds I was getting. And something I didn't even mention is the fact that the recorded tones on this are good. I really, really like the sounds I was getting for the song that you heard at the beginning. It just works and I was using a couple of different presets from the Quick Tone app. So well done, New York. This is a very impressive unit. And I give the unit two thumbs up on something like that. I'm not sure what I mean by that. But if you want to get your Nuix MG30, there are affiliate links in the description. And there are other ways to support what I do. You can find everything down below. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving it a like. Let me know what you thought of the video. And if you got any questions, be sure to ask those in the comments as well. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time.